if you happen to run that onboard generator and have your car plugged in, couldn't you charge much faster? The quick answer I found out is... What's going on, everyone? I just wanted to make a quick video about an idea that I had on how you could charge your Chevy Volt a little bit quicker. Yes, as we know, you could use 240 volts, which is significantly faster than 120, but the car, as many people know, has an onboard generator, and that enables it to continue driving even if you run out of electricity in your batteries. So the idea I had was, I wonder if you could plug in your EV with the 120 volt power cord, but also run your car's onboard generator slash engine and use both of those things to charge quicker. The onboard generator can generate up to 55 kilowatt hours of power, which is enough to spin the wheels and use the electric motors to propel you and keep you going. If you happen to run that onboard generator and have your car plugged in, couldn't you charge much faster? Unfortunately, the quick answer I found out is no. The car system is smart and does realize that when you have the charge cord plugged in, but you also have the engine running, it will not allow the vehicle to charge. Um, it must be due to the onboard circuit boards and everything. They can't allow the car to generate that much energy coming from the wall as well as the onboard engine. To get the onboard engine going, uh, there's a quick little trick that some people may not know about. And that quick trick is where you turn on the car and the car automatically defaults to electric mode. So how would you get the car's engine running if it's only gonna allow you to use electricity first and there's no way to change it around. Well, there's something called maintenance mode and they use it at the dealer. It's where you pop the hood and the car realizes that you're trying to work on it and service the engine. So really quickly, let me show you how that works. It's in EV mode right now. The vehicle is on, it says ready right there. So if I pop the hood down here, the car just started the engine and it is now running the engine slash generator in the front of the vehicle. You can see that the hood is popped here. And that has the engine running when it is popped. But once you shut it, like I just did, it should automatically go back into electric mode. Sometimes it doesn't do it right away. You can turn the vehicle off and restart it and now it will be in electric mode only. What I tried doing the other day was in fact plugging the car in and have the engine run in the front here to see if I could get a much quicker charge rate, but the car didn't allow me to do that. You can't charge the car with the engine and a power cable at the same time. I wish you could, it would help increase the rate of charge. However, you can't do it. So that's all right. Um, it was an idea and uh, I'm sure there's other ways that you could probably find to charge the car quicker But for now you just got to use either 120 volts or 240 Now the car does use its regen to recharge the car quicker But that's where you have to have the vehicle moving and so you obviously couldn't have a cable plugged in charging the car and Be charging the car with regen. So thanks for tuning in to my video um, be sure to check out my other videos i have a handful more on the channel um, that give you some good tips and information on evs specifically this chevy volt make sure to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you around